have Bridge Street enter the track. Again, a 58-time career winner. Many of those victories coming at the top class ranks right here in London. He's now 21 years of age, enjoying retirement, but he's come out of retirement tonight to be with us on track, and he's hooked up in the harness once again to lead the post parade of this upcoming sixth race, his feature on this Wall of Fame night in London. So right there, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, lifelong trainer, Scott McDivin on board, Bridge Street, regarded as one of the most popular and durable pacers in the history of the raceway at Western Fair District. He's being honored tonight as he joins the prestigious Wall of Fame class. The speedy pacer captured 58 wins throughout his illustrious career despite never winning a stakes race. The former $10,000 yearling purchase raced over a decade at the raceway and was conditionally locally here by Scott McDivin for the owners Tom Broadhurst, the Griffins, along with Kim McNiven, now 21 years of age. He's enjoying retirement at the McNiven family farm on track tonight for his Wall of Fame induction. Here is the field then for the Wall of Fame Bridge Street feature, retirement. Bridge Street takes a circle down in front here, getting up close with the fans. I think he's liking this. He's been right down in front many a time for a winner circle photo. 58 career trips to the winner circle, many of those right here at the raceway, and we are so honored to have him with us tonight for his Wall of Fame induction. Thanks so much, trainer Scott McNiven. We're bringing him on out tonight. He's looking great, and we will see him one more time in the winner's circle following race number six for his Wall of Fame induction. The ceremony will be trackside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to draw your attention trackside. It's time for the 2018 Wall of Fame induction ceremony here at the Raceway. And uh, here is the guest of honor. He looks fantastic at age 21. It's Bridge Street. For the first time ever, we're inducting uh, a horse who uh, is getting into the wall uh, only on the exploits of what he did on the racetrack. A 58 win career for Bridge Street and the majority of them coming right here at his home track of Western Fair. To tell us more about this year's inductee to the Wall of Fame, let's go upstairs to track announcer Shannon Sugar Doyle. You bet. Thank you, Greg. In harness racing, like most sports, the flashy athletes who put up the big numbers typically draw the praise and attention of fans. But most of us can't help but appreciate the blue-collar types, the ones who come back to work every day with little fanfare and give 110% at what they do. Tonight's inductee is that type of horse. Bridge Street's racing career started in 1999 when he raced seven times as a two-year-old, winning just once. He showed improvement as a three-year-old but was considered a fringe grassroots player at best. It would have been hard for anyone to predict what a tremendous career the son of Armbro Emerson would ultimately go on to have, but like a fine wine, Bridge Street continued to improve with age and would eventually become a staple in the preferred ranks at his home track in London. Simply put, he was a winning machine, campaigned by the husband and wife team of Scott and Kim McNiven, who co-owned, along with Todd, Tom Broadhurst, and the Griffins, Bridge Street had amassed 58 wins and $676,000 by the time he retired from racing in 2009. He won those races using a combination of durability, grittiness, and class, qualities that made him a fan favorite to those who watched him in person or at off-track locations throughout North America. But 
the one quality that set him apart of most of his rivals was that innate will to win. These days, he enjoys a well-deserved life of luxury at the family farm and will always hold a special place in the hearts of his connections. He also holds a special place in the hearts of his many fans. Bridge Street, thank you for the memories and welcome as our newest inductee into the Raceway's prestigious Wall of Fame. Thank you very much, Sugar. And there he is. And uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a 21-year-old look this fantastic. Uh, he looks like he could put the bike on and go around again. And uh, we want to thank uh, the McNivens for bringing him out tonight. Of course, Tom Broadhurst, Shirley Griffin, and, and their friends and families uh, joining us here as well. And now it's time for the unveiling of the photo. And there's the photo of Bridge Street that will go up on our wall of fame. And uh, the only other horses in our prestigious Wall of Fame are Cam Luck, who was inducted a couple of years ago and run the table, who went in uh, with uh, Jack and Don McNiven back when they were inducted as well. Uh, maybe we'll just head over here and get a quick comment from Scott McNiven. Scott, you trained the horse uh, during this brilliant career. He really is amazing how good he looks. Uh, what was his reaction tonight when he stepped back on the track uh, for such a long time? Oh, you could you could tell he really loved it. His ears are perked right up, and it's it was it was a fine moment for him. Yeah. What's it mean to you and and the group to have him inducted into the wall? Well, all of us were uh, raised at Western Fair, and and so it, it really means a lot. Uh, you know, myself, uh, 40 years or 45 years around here, and and I know a lot of the people and horses that have been inducted here, and it's it's truly an honor. And I really thank Western Fair District for uh, presenting this with them. All right, Kim, we should get a quick word from you. He's your pet. I know you don't like to, to say much, but... Uh, get Tom. Well, let's get Tom then. Kim, Kim just will not speak. Uh, she's a, a lady of few words, but uh, certainly did a lot of the work uh, behind the scenes with this horse, Tom. And uh, Tom is uh, the owner and, and co-owner with Shirley here. Uh, what's it mean to you? Oh, it's, it's a tremendous honor. And I mean, he, he was such a horse. He's, he's actually responsible for me staying in the game. And that's the truth. Uh, he, you couldn't ask, everybody should have a horse like this. Certainly a once in a lifetime. Well, I've had good ones, he's, you know, and uh, he, but he is without a doubt the favorite because he, you know, an interesting thing, other than his two-year-old year, he only qualified three times in his career. He, he, he was here every week, every year for a lot of years, so he, he, he was a wonderful horse to have. And you're right, and that's why he did become such a fan favorite. He was here week in, week out, year after year, doing what he does. So once again, thank you everybody for being with us tonight. Uh, congratulations to the Connections and an emotional induction tonight. And we thank you uh, as well. How about one more hand for the great Bridge Street, ladies and gentlemen, newest inductee to the Raceway's Wall of Fame. Sugar? Right on. Thank you so much. A wonderful ceremony for a fan favorite throughout southwestern Ontario, Bridge Street, from 361 career starts, 58 wins, 60 seconds, 67 thirds, $670,000 earned. Again, not a stakes win throughout his career. So to put together that much money throughout his long, durable career, a mark of 151 and one taken as a six-year-old over Sarnia. And as Tom mentioned, only three qualifiers needed throughout his career. He was here week in, week out. Bridge Street. Congratulations on your Wall of Fame induction tonight.